This is an exercise in minimizing in a way that I haven't done it before. Any other time, perhaps been my maybe option. Take out this one because it is so hard to think of what you will wear or will want to wear in six months time. The first thing we're going to be doing differently, changing up the way we declutter. I should be getting rid of one in two. The way we have our wardrobe laid out, building my next season wardrobe now already. Project 333, 33 items for three months so here we are and I like the thing like to say the plan is to do the same as last time I will put the count up here but as that season's now passed there are even things that I have not touched and we've all been there that's okay my friends it's that time of the year again we're going to declutter my closet this has been a year coming now if you followed me for a while you know that we have two occasions where we have done major declutters item that I own that also needs to go that pile with things that are going and the last one I'm not gonna lie I'm really proud of we got my wardrobe down to 53 items together that was a year ago <laughs> And I have included and incorporated a lot more things as well as changed my style ever so slightly. Everything that I've got since then has been thrifted. We are going to do things differently this time. The rail, it is empty as you may see because things have gravitated, magically <laughs> moved themselves into my wardrobe space right here. We're gonna get it all out, put it on the rail. I did speak before about how decluttering can be so hard when you look six months into future and think, am I going to wear this then, especially as it's a different season, maybe two seasons away. So I did this video in July of last year and I think the biggest thing that I'm happy that I've done is waited a full year this time. I've been through all the seasons, I've been through my whole wardrobe and I've really come to know what I use and what I don't. Every season I've actually ended up bringing something else in, but as that season's now passed, there are even things that I have not touched and we've all been there, that's okay. The first thing that we're going to be doing differently though is changing up the way we declutter, the way we have our wardrobe laid out. I'm not gonna keep everything on this rail, I'm going to stash things away for the next season. Courtney Carver is someone that does Project 333. I believe you have 33 items for three months and that's what I'm wanting to try. Most of those items in my like yearly wardrobe. So I'm gonna try and have 33 pieces that I really love but I'm going to exclude a few items that are I want to say not appropriate for the season. I'm going to have my three months going into August, September, October. Then I'm hoping to do this again, see if there's any changes that I need to make and do November, December, January, sort of the coldest month, February, March, April, springtime, May, June, July again summertime <laughs> it's been really rainy here in the UK but I really like the way I did it in last video where we do it by category I have things on the floor in my water so we're just gonna start there we're gonna jump in we're gonna put it all on the rail in sort of order and I think that's very very important place to start I used to dump it all on my bed and go through item by item and I did find that, that was very overwhelming at the best of times I could look at it and I can think does this spark joy that method it made for a very unbalanced wardrobe. So does this spark joy, this item in this season of life? Perhaps. Because what we want to do is condense it to a wardrobe that we use, not particularly item by item. It's worth looking at what do you use in terms of bottoms, what do you use in terms of tops, dresses, what do you use in terms of coats. So categorize it and if you have an ultimate number in your mind like 33, you can think, okay, I can have six categories with five items each. That sounds perfect, but if you're more someone who wears dresses, you might have like up to 10 dresses, five bottoms, three tops. Another thing that I want to mention is my style and how it's evolved. My past two videos, I did show up in, I don't want to say skimpy, but in a workout set of blue shorts and a gray workout top. I am wearing that workout top today. Blue jeans. Yeah, for the occasion and again a lighter top but this is more my style now I'm now 31 I'm still crawling after my toddler I'm gardening in a lot I'm baking a lot I'm in my home and in my kitchen so much the clothes that I'm using just I've received enough grace for myself and I have had a lot of refinement within myself a lot to do with modesty a lot to do with what I've wanted to wear before and in the past year I haven't been influenced by anybody in terms of diet I don't 
look at anything anymore, basically. Let's go to the thrift shop and I pick up what I think is nice and what I like. I could talk about this for hours. I've learned what I like. I have a lot of items now that doesn't fit my current style and I've had a lot of items that I will still wear because even though they're not really what I'd pick out otherwise, if I need a jumper, I'm gonna wear the jumper that I have. Friends, we've done it. 54, 55, 56, 57. Oh man, that's not right. So I believe after the 10 gazillion count, we are on 62 items, which isn't too bad. I even have a few things that I said I were gonna get rid of that I ended up pulling back out. But technically, if I were to have 33 items, I'd need to get rid of like one in two, and I'd be gold, gold, golden, 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 and I'd be golden. We're not gonna do that though. The goal isn't to have 33 items in total of everything. It's supposed to be a seasonal thing, realistically, and put away what it is that you don't need so you're not faced with over well and everything can kind of like get easier some items that you'll carry through the seasons items that you'll swap out but the goal is to always just have 33 items in total including accessories and I do have about three shoes I will wear all year round which is boots if it's raining other day maybe four maybe four two scarves so I should probably allow at least five items or so four shoes and one bag this is an exercise in minimizing in a way that I haven't done it before. Let's just get started. Okay, so the plan is to do the same as last time. I will put the count up here on, and we're gonna start with coats, moving into jumpers, dresses. Ideally, I should be getting rid of one in two, a five rule at the most. First up, we have two coats. It is July. I've been using this wool coat because we have had rain and cold and wind so much. But when it's not that windy, I use this one to keep it both of these. This was obviously very expensive. This one I got for a pound from the charity shop. This again I got from the charity shop. I think it's Rydale. Love the lining, love the coat, rip the inside of the lining. And this I said a year ago that I'm gonna stitch this up. I never stitched it up. That's the plan because I do want to wear it. So I'm gonna keep both of these. They're both Princess Polly. I used to wear this all of the time and I love it, but it is starting to look really gingy. This one I will keep hold of because it's kind of my only lighter jacket and I do still wear this. So I said a lot of things aren't in the season that I'm in, so I'm going to do this for, like I said, three months with hopefully 33 items. But we're going to get to the season once after we've done this. So now moving into the jumpers. First up, I've got these two. This is not for this season. Probably one of the only cardigans that I'm gonna keep. I have this green jumper. These two, again, the pink one has got loads of stains on it, but I do wear these all of the time. This is to keep myself warmer. <laughs> if this is not what makes it into kind of my next two seasons, 33 items, I'm not going to keep it. Next up, we have these two. Now, I have never worn this poncho, but I do have a plan for it. This top, however, I love. I think it's really cute. I've got these adorable flowers on it. And I have worn this a lot, but I think I'm going to let it go. Where the poncho decision came from. Because I have a lot of those, what should I throw on when I need to throw on something? Now the poncho could not layer under coats. These could. So the options are this next jumper that I got last year, and I did use it a lot. It's just a little bit too bulky. But my option last year for the things that I could just throw as a layer, it was this one. And I think this is a time to let this one go. I'm looking at my next two options. For a jumper, I have these two. So I'm gonna let this one go. And then we have these two. Now these are very different. This is very light. This is quite warm. This one's Gap. I thought it was white in the shop and I got it home and it's actually quite yellow. <laughs> And I've worn it once, you can go. This one on the other hand, I do really like. I like to layer it, so I am going to keep this one. However, this red one is like my Christmas jumper. Everybody has a Christmas jumper. It got paint on it last year, because I painted with it and I can't get it off. We're gonna let it go. So I said 62 items, but we have three more here. So we actually have 65. I have these three down there because I wore them yesterday. I have these two and I keep holding on to them because I just throw them on as like my everyday uniform. It might be time to let one of them go and I'm gonna let this one 
go. And then we have these. Now these are my cozy tatty trousers that I only wear when I need to be doing things that I don't want to get the rest dirty. So I'm gonna let that go. Then I have this one and like I said I don't have like any other sweatshirts. So it's time to move into the shirts and I used to have a lot of shirts. I haven't really worn them. I have seasons where I like throw them on all the time and then I have seasons when I don't and I think that I'm going to have had my last season. Goodbye. Let's do some dresses. First up, I have these two. I love this dress. I don't have like occasion to wear it all that often, but I think I should find it. This is more autumnal and they will definitely be moving into the next season. Now I've told you these two dresses, both from H&M Divided, it's the exact same dresses. And they've been with me for years. This was my upgrade that I got this year. But it has long sleeves as well. It's slightly more modest. Oh, we have a trip coming up for one night away. Our youngest is going to be watched by his nan. And we have never been away without him. He has just turned three. So we're going to have one night. But we also had one drink out for like a few hours after his bedtime once. And this was what I wore. I'll wear it again. I have this dress, a really awkward neckline, but when it comes to autumn, I wear this under jumpers and I still want to have that option. So I'm not quite ready to let it go. Contrary to popular belief, I studied fashion and design at London College of Fashion for university. We did, of course, a lot on history and options for a little black dress and how that has evolved over time. A little black dress, you're not supposed to be able to go wrong. I wore it in a recent video, my pantry declutter, it's from Topshop. Again, everything's thrifted. I'm gonna keep these two. This is a leopard one. It's so flattering. I wish it was a different pattern, but I like it and I'm gonna keep it. Then I'm going to move into these two now. I love this dress. I really do, but I haven't worn it enough. I'll make a maybe pile up right in front of you, okay? Then this one, I love it. This is my favorite dress from Princess Polly. I genuinely wish it was like a bat. I'm gonna keep this one. So you can already tell I haven't worn it. I think I paid two pounds for it. Wrap around, I thought this could cool option this summer. It's not been an option. Goodbye. Lastly is these. These are kind of like jumpsuits slash pinafores. I love this. This is super cute. I'm not wearing it currently. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now we have these two. This is a Zara jumpsuit. I paid seven pounds for it. Like you see, I've never worn it quite recently. I think last two months ago now, maybe. And I think it's so cute. It's just a bit short. Hang them back and see where we're at. Next up. We have three skirts. We have this corduroy one from H&M. It was super popular years ago, and I used to wear this to death. We have this faux leather, which I think is from Primark. A longer one, which is not like immodest, to wear under things for a little bit more modesty. I'm gonna let these three go. Now we have these two skirts. I think one's from Tesco, and one's from H&M, both from the charity shop. Now I love these. So easy to style with jumpers. Keeping these from the charity shop is Uniqlo. I wear this a lot. And that last one, this one, brought me to, I haven't worn this yet, it's white. In my day-to-day -day life, I should not wear a lot of white. I want to have occasions to wear this. Now, these are the type of mindsets that you should kind of be careful of because you might want to wear everything in your wardrobe. But we are making some headway here. Oh no, there's one more skirt. Now, that's this one. Again, I thrifted this one recently. I've been wearing a lot more skirts recently and I want to be able to wear skirts into winter quite easily. Hmm, do you have any style ideas? Let me know what you think. Next up, I have this top. I'm keeping that one. And I have this one. I love the idea of this. I thought it was so cute. Next up, we have three t-shirts. I do have one more to have a variety in shades and to let that one go. I'm gonna keep both of these. Graphic tee. And I have struggled to let this go. I haven't worn it for a long time and it's not really my style anymore. So I'm gonna let it go. And then I have these three. So these are like my basics. Two of the same tops, which again, were supposed to be like workout tops. These days, I feel like I just work out in a t-shirt. This was supposed to be a slightly more modest underneath options for dresses. I haven't used it, so I'm gonna let this one go. As we go through this, I've got this one piece in front of me and I honestly keep looking at it. And I almost just now said, let's let it go. And then I changed my mind. 
probably still thinking about it. Oh, I forgot the basket. Okay, this is why we had a lot more items. For Project 333, I have read or heard is that Courtney doesn't count workout clothes into the 333 if you only use them for workout. If you're someone that has a more athleisure type of style where you use workout clothes as your main clothes, you have to count them. That's not to do with these. First step is these pair of like linen trousers, working in these. I were really like excited. It's BDG mom jeans, and actually, they don't fit me that great. I'm a little bit bigger than I thought I was. So, we're gonna let those go back over here. These black jeans are the exact same mom jeans that I'm wearing. And yes, these are the same ones that have holes in the knees because they are my favorite. I said this last time and I'm like, it should be time to let them go. I would never buy a pair of jeans now with the rips in them as like the style. I do reach for these. One more straight legged an option that I wear when sometimes I don't want to wear ripped jeans, like when I meet up with the battle study group. And lastly, I always forget the basket. Can we do this a bit closer? Maybe we can. So here we are. And I like a thing, like to say, that I have some great thought process around this, but I don't. This is my workout basket slash like odds and ends plain vest that I thought I needed from the charity shop. It's originally from H&M and I might replace this with this one. I'm going to replace it with this one. They have the same purpose. I think if I wore them all the time, I might feel like I would need two white ones with my like coffee habits. Then I have this t-shirt. The one that I was looking for, I'm keeping this. We are over our items now, but again, workout clothes don't really count. I have these as well. This is like a thermal vest. These are like extra under, not undergarments, they're understell. We have kind of what I'd say is the workout clothes, but we do have some other bits in here, socks. That is these. Now, the, say I'd count them, but these are what I wear underneath everything, Fabletics sets. I'm wearing a gray one now. I don't wear bras. I don't need to wear bras anymore. I just wear these. They're really comfortable. Technically, they are my underwear, aren't they? But I'd also probably work out in them. Some matching sets of those. Pink and black. The green tights. These faux leather. Short of back short. Back short. It's not my style anymore. I need to get rid of the faux leather. And then I have these black shorts. Again, they'd be like workout ones. Shorts belonging to the pink set. I have these blue ones that I wore in my past two decluttering videos. And I were toying with wearing wearing the same things again just to keep it running but it is a little bit too immodest at this season of my life to do like a whole video if I were to like film a vlog and I happen to wear it you know it's not the end of the world that's how I feel now that might change next year next month who knows now I'm just going through the shots I have these snuggly which belong to the cardigan and three feet set from Princess Polly but I actually haven't worn these so I think I should let them go and the last things here. One full workout set from Doomshark that I kept last time around. In case I work out in the next year, I have not, but it might be this year and one full set we can keep. These are my little lemons that are completely worn out. They are literally being kept in case I have another child for like pregnancy pictures. That's the reason. Oh wait, that's why I'm going to keep the other white one as well. It's the time to move on. These are my favorite, favorite leggings. You've seen me wear them all the time. They have paint stains on them. The knee is getting bigger and bigger. My chickens like to pick through these so my knees bleed when I walk in. I should really get these again. To be honest, that's an investment that I would make. I wear these all the time, but it's time to let them go. One bathing suit that don't need to be in here anymore tags at the bottom and the back so here we are friends we have the pile that we have decluttered so far you will know what items we are on and then we have the box of workout clothes so i'm gonna put that underneath grab this dress it's gonna go because it's the most convenient in this moment the next step <laughs> is to whittle down our current wardrobe options. Now I said there are things that are seasonal, so how Project 333 works is 33 items for three months. I'm going to pick the items that I'm going to be using for the next three months throughout August, September, and October. So it's kind of my late summer into early autumn clothing. It's as easy as that. I don't have to now be afraid of letting the rest go. Spending the time doing this now to hopefully save myself a lot of headache, a lot of decision fatigue that I make 
get from choosing an outfit every day, whether that is several choices that I need to make. So we make something like, is it 20,000, maybe more decisions in a day, whether that is intentionally or not. And a lot of them are automatic for sure, but your brain works that out for you, lucky us. But we can suffer from decision fatigue. And I do believe that most of us do. We're gonna eliminate that today. We're gonna pick our items, we're gonna store the rest away. We do not have to have any guilt for the items we've stored away for a coming season. They are still there, you can access them, it is okay. You can be ready to let it go for the time being. The plan here is to have each section and I'm gonna try and whittle it down to around five items. Some will be more, some will be less. For example, I know that there are two clothes that I'm wearing at the moment. That is these two. And I may grab this. Go away. This one because I haven't sewn it. We have three coats, not five. That's great. Then I go to my jumpers. That will be all of these. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight options. Could we take out three? Yes, could we take out more? Maybe. So I'm going to keep the three I'm currently using. Take out the poncho. And I'm kind of building my next season wardrobe now already. We're gonna move into our dresses. The dresses cover this. So we have one, two, three, nine, 10 items. What will I wear right now? This one for a trip coming up. You can't think about things like that, events that you have coming. Make those decisions now. Think about what's happening in your life over the next three months. What have you got going on? If I were to just choose three that I wear, that gives me four. I didn't even finish with my jumpers. Okay, this was for a warmer season fallback option. And then we're moving on to our skirts. Now this is harder because I do want to have an occasion to wear all of them. Five, six. For a warmer season, we've decided that already. For my tops, three t-shirts and one longer top. Then we have these two I can wear with the skirts, with my trousers. Now we have these two. I will not wear this anytime soon. Again, it's like a fallback option and I will put this one in because this has got so many copper stains on it but we shall see if it will come through the wash okay. So for our trousers, I feel like we've already made the decisions. I have these three says four and I feel like because I'm wearing these, I could take these out but depending on where we're at, I might actually be able to keep them in. So let's count our current items for this next three months and then have a look at the pile that we've also stowing away. 11, 12, 13, 14, 56, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 32, 33. That actually does leave five items for my shoes and start three shoes. Technically two and a bag. I feel like I can live with this for the next three months. What do you think? Could you? <laughs> I think that's a question. What could you live with for the next three months? Oh, I'm standing on my decluttered pile and breaking some things here. Okay, so I hope you guys find that motivating. I hope you found it inspiring. I hope you liked the process. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And let me know if this is something that you would consider trying with your own clothes. So we did declutter a lot. I am standing on this decluttered pile currently. We did also store away a couple of things that I don't feel is currently in the season. They would have any other time perhaps been my maybe options because it is so hard to think of what you will wear or will want to wear in six months time and get caught up in those type of decisions that need to be made. It's okay to keep things. It's okay to not really have a maybe pile it kind of becomes a future pile but when you think of it in seasons to me so far it's truly life-changing I would love to do an update in three months time when I'm changing this wardrobe over to see where we are at how it's worked for me let me know if you want to see that and do let me know if you are going on this journey with me in the comments I would love to chat to you hey friends I hope you liked this video we're gonna do it again let's do the rail push let's see where we're at so we're ready we're gonna do this I don't feel like it's gonna have much of an effect this time, but we can just... Oh. <laughs> Hit that notification bell, have a blessed and wonderful week, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.